Hello everyone, it's Blair Space, and today's video is going to be a special one. It's not going to be just one Kaiju showcasing, because in Kaiju Universe, this most recent weekend, they released two, not one, but two Kaiju. So for this video, it's going to be showcasing two Kaiju. So I'm going to see if I can maybe speedrun it. If not, then this is going to be a really long video. So first, uh, here is Kamo... Kami... Kami Obis. Kami, yeah. I think that's how you pronounce it. Could be wrong. Um, he costs 15,000 G cells. Now, here's walk, run, idle. Here's pinston crunch. Does 400 damage at max. 10 charge costs and a 3 second cooldown. Not bad. Next is... Actually, I'll save the best for last. Next is Rocky Swipe. Uh, does it, it's pretty meh range, uh, but 700 damage when maxed. Top this, and I believe it costs 25 charge, but has a 7 second cooldown. That, and you cannot move while using it, and you also can't use it when swimming. Next is Shell Carousel. Significantly better range, or at least it's kind of good, but at the same time not really. You can at least move while using it. Uh, it does 600 damage when maxed. Costs 15 charge, and has a 6.5 cooldown. Uh, next is Shell Tortoise Fortress. And basically, what this move does is it heals a crap ton of your health in a quick pinch. So, yeah. Oh, and here is Tortoise Cry. And next is Tortoise Call. And here's Swim Animation. He actually swim. Also, right, right. His, um, his running speed is 26, and his swim speed is 125, so, overall, I'd say his stats are actually really good. Uh, oh, I put him in, like, low B tier, I mean, mostly because, although his moves do high damage, there are low cooldowns, pretty mid hitboxes, but because, and despite having, but, despite having low health, he has such high survivability, he's really tanky with, uh, Tortoise Fortress. That is high swim speed. So, yeah, on to the next Kaiju. Alright, and next up we have Heisei Mothra Larva. Now this one's a very interesting one. So, let me explain. Uh, well, here, first off, I'm just gonna, uh, show it off. She has the fastest land speed out of any kaiju. 80. 80 land speed as a ground, well, not every kaiju, but for a ground kaiju, she's as fast as things get. But here's the kicker, right? Here, here's, here's the, uh, yeah, here's the kicker. Her swim speed is uh, 80 for a ground kaiju, and to give an idea, the second slowest swimming ground kaiju is Zombie Gigan at 65. So she cannot outswim anything actually, because 50 swim speed is how fast most flyers swim, and that like this that's like the minimum flyer speed, apart from like a few exceptions. So, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, walk animation. In just a few moments ago, I was showing off running animation while explaining. Here is Tail Slam. Uh, costs 10 charge. Has a .75 cooldown. And has 300 max damage. Overall, DPS is pretty good. Hitbox is... Kind of, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Um, next is Web Assault. And I did the math, and I believe at max damage it should do, like, 1,400, like, when I max this thing out, I will retest that, or I'll probably explain it in the next, uh, tier list video. And what I'm showing now is Spin Swipe. It was, like, 375 max damage, somewhere in that area. Hat costs 10 charge as well. Or no, wait. Well, let me double check. 
And... It costs, like, 13 or 15 charge, sorry. 13 or 15 charge, and it has a 1.5 second cooldown. However, its hitbox is significantly better than, uh, its tail slam. Here is Larva Roar. Here is Larva Call. Pretty nice. Uh, oh, one thing to mention for both Kaiju, by the way. They both suck at getting on land, but... Like, in getting... More importantly, getting out of water. Specifically, Heisei, Moth, or Larva do how slow she is in the water. Like, hold on. Like, okay. Imagine how fast most ground kaiju swim, right? Now, with that in mind, now watch how fast Heisei, Moth, or Larva swims. Yeah. <laughs> it swims so slow. It swims so slow. And watch, this is like the best, this, but here's the tip, here's the best spot to get on the Tokyo, by the way, is Heisei, Moth, or Larva if you're using it. At least this is a spot, this is the area I use, but... Here, let me make a better example. Let's just, uh, right here. Nope. Nope. Because I'm so slow, I can't launch, and because I struggle to climb up, it's, it, good luck. However, I do believe her being stupidly slow in the water is kind of balanced out to the fact that she's literally the fastest ground kaiju in the game. But I would say flyers are her the bane of her existence because flyers can keep up with like eighty, like a speed of eighty, generally speaking, or outspeed it. So on land, a flyer could catch up with you. And if you go to the water, well, there's nothing you can do. Right? In my opinion, flyers can be like a hard counter to Hasey Mafa Larva. Uh, overall, I'd say she's like mid low C tier. Which isn't bad, given the fact that, you know, she costs 2,000 G-cells. Only 2,000 G-cells. Uh. <clears throat> what am I trying to think of here? I think that's about it, really. Oh, yeah, that's about it. So, I uh, hope you enjoy the video.